Right, in this video I'm going to attempt to program the Arduino Pro Mini, it's a Chinese clone, so it's uh, no way a genuine original, using uh, these three serial uh, USB to serial uh, chips. And from top to bottom they are the FTDI FT232RL, the middle one on the red board is the uh, CP2102, and at the bottom we have the PL 2303 HX. So this is the FTDI FT232RL chip on a little board with a USB mini plug, so I've plugged it into my uh, mini lead. Um, and I'm going to look at the uh, device manager on, this is Windows 8, and it says uh, here it's a USB serial port on COM13, and I'll just get uh, Let's see it properties on that, uh, and it says it's um, the that the driver is an FTDI. Now I didn't appear to need to install this driver; it seemed to install itself. Uh, but as I say, that's on Windows 8. I'm not sure about on previous versions. So on the back of this uh, converter, we've got ground. I've put brown on there. I put red on VCC, orange on TX, yellow on RX. And there's a DTR out on this module. Um, now DTR or RTS can both be used for the auto reset. So it's very useful when the module has that and they don't all have it. Right, so I've hooked up the Pro Mini and uh, this came with the bootloader installed and also the Blink program. And you can see there that the green LED is running the one second on, one second off Blink program. Um, in terms of the connections, uh, brown uh, was ground, so ground goes to ground, of course. VCC goes to VCC. TX and RX go to their counterparts, you cross those over. So TX on one board goes to RX on the other, and vice versa. And then the grey wire is labelled on the Mini as GRUN, G-R-N, green. Um, but I don't know whether you can see this, let me just get my uh, pencil. Up here on the top right hand side of the board there's a tiny capacitor and that's probably the 100 nanofarad capacitor that creates the reset pulse. Um, so as I say on the uh, driver chip either DTR or RTS can be used to provide a reset pulse and that's what provides auto reset. That means you don't have to hold the button while it's um, compiling and then let go when it's ready to upload. Right well now I've modified the Blink program to provide two blinks, uh, very rapid, 50 milliseconds, with 100 milliseconds between them, and then a 1,000 millisecond or a one second gap. So it's a it's a double blink. It's just um, I wanted something to make sure that uh, I could see that it didn't have the original blink program in there. So under Tools and Board, we come down and select the Arduino Pro or Pro Mini, 5 volt, 16 megahertz with 80 mega 328. And under Tools Serial Port, mine happens to be on COM13, so I've selected that. Okay, so now I hit the Upload button, and we check that it's compiling the sketch. And then I've got the verbose stuff on, so there's all the data going through. And now on the board, there's my signature double blink. So the Mini has been successfully programmed by the FT232RL interface board. Let's try the next one. Right, this is the uh, board based on the CP2102 chip. Um, I don't have, uh, uh, well, it, it comes with a USB-A plug on it, and I've only got a short extension lead, so I've plugged it in up on my PC there. Um, let's have a look at this. Uh, what this chip is. So this is the CP2102 uh, single chip USB to UART bridge made by Silicon Labs and we'll just check the uh, documentation for it. So here's the uh, web page, the USB to UART bridge and if I go under tools and scroll down we have here Windows drivers uh, I think it's this one uh, CP210X VCP Windows version 6.6.1 and that installed perfectly well on my Windows 8 machine, so let's check the device manager. So now in the device manager it's detected that I have a Silicon Lab CP210X USB to bridge on COM12. Let's just get the properties on that. 
and the driver uh, is saying Silicon Lab, so that's fine. So I've hooked up my cables to ground, 5 volts, TX and RX. TX and RX are swapped over, of course. And now my grey cable, which is the reset pin on the uh, Pro Mini, is connected to RST, but RST is not the reset, uh, the reset output. Originally, it was a reset input. And I've had to modify the board, and you can probably see there I've put a tiny little piece of wire going to one of the pins on the chip, but it was extremely difficult to do because those pins are very, very tiny. Um, but these boards, a lot of them don't have the facility for reset built into them, which is why I'm now looking at an alternative. So I've now modified the Blink program to produce a triple pulse uh, because I want to make sure it's different to the previous program. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, tools. So under board, same board, uh, serial port is now COM12, so I need to tick that. And then let's upload. Make sure it can pass the sketch. And there goes the data. And then looking at the board, yep, we have the triple pulse on there. So the Pro Mini has programmed successfully. So now we come to the board with the PL2303HX chip. And we have a problem because I've plugged that in. And although it's detected it as a prolific USB to serial COM port COM11, you can see there that there's the little yellow exclamation mark. And uh, it's, so it's failed to load the drivers. Let's just uh, get properties on that. And it just says the device cannot start. And there is a problem here with the driver. So here's the web page, Prolific Technology Inc. And uh, there is a driver there. And uh, I did download it and it does work on Windows XP. Um, but there's a lot of stuff here that says in red, note, Windows 8 and 8.1 are not supported with the 2303HXA and 2303X EOL chips, run the check chip version tool to find out which one you've got. Well, you can't run that if there's no drivers. But I did run it on XP, and I'll show you what the result was. But if you scroll down, there's more stuff, and it's all this. Warning, please be warned that counterfeit fake PL2303HX chips um, are on the China market. Uh, it says it causes problems. You get the yellow mark error code 10, which is exactly what I'm getting. So it is possible that this is a fake uh, chip on a board. So I've now connected the uh, 2303 uh, USB to serial driver to my old Windows XP machine. And if we look at the uh, device manager, you can see that um, that's come up fine. Prolific USB to serial. That's the wrong mouse. Prolific USB to serial COM port COM4. So now this is their check chip tool. So I've checked on COM4. It's a PL2303XA stroke HXA. And of course, as they say, there are no Windows 8 drivers for this chip. So on Windows XP machine, I've selected the correct board. The serial port is COM4, so that all looks good. Let's go ahead and try and Install. Now this is the original Blink program, so if this works, it should. This is a much slower machine, I'm afraid. But if it works, you should get the original Blink program back in the Arduino. I'll come back to this. So that's worked. Um, we've got the original one second Blink program in there. And uh, so that's worked on Windows XP with the PL2303HX or HXA. So, in summary then, um, I found it was possible to program the Pro Mini with all three of these USB to serial interface modules. Um, the FTDI module was probably the simplest because I didn't need to install drivers, but it's a bit more expensive, that one. The CP2102 module um, is uh, one of the cheaper ones. Um, the PL2303 was probably the cheapest, but this CP2102 module um, works with Windows 8. You do have to install drivers, but they install fine and then you can program it. And uh, although I had to modify this to do the auto reset, you can now get these 2102 modules um, with more breakout pins. And so you could use uh, DTR or RTS 
to do the auto reset. Now the PL2303 um, I couldn't use on Windows 8 at all but it did successfully run on uh, Windows XP but I can't find anywhere on eBay one of these modules with uh, breakout pins so this one is not going to be able to program the uh, Arduino clone with auto reset um, so in terms of price I'd probably favor this one I'll show you the uh, the new one with the breakout pins um, but this comes a close second it is a bit more expensive so here's the module that I think uh, will replace the one that I've got and you can see here that um, the DTR line is taken on to the uh, row of pins but also uh, if you look down here on the breakout pins on the sides there is RTS as well so if you want to use RTS to reset uh, the Arduino you can do it that way um, I haven't got this one yet I'm waiting for it but it was only £1.44 so if this works then this is the one that I would uh, recommend